Hey everybody, Tony Moore here at the 50th Annual Daytime Emmys, and I am here with the super talented Mr. Mike Manning. How are you today, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, Mike, you wear many hats. Actor, producer. How do you juggle so many things and continue being shining and being talented, winning awards? How do you handle all of this in this industry? Uh, yeah, good question. I think that I just, I'm a creative and I love to create things. So whether it's in front of the camera or behind the camera, um, I love acting because I love stepping into other worlds that people have created for me to be a part of. And then I love producing because I love creating a sandbox that I can invite other people to play in. You know, I just, I love telling stories through and through and sometimes that's in front of the camera, sometimes it's behind the camera and I'm, I'm grateful either way. Now, the last time we saw you in Salem, uh, Charlie was very devious and playing a spirit and in Ava's ear. As an actor, how was that for you to come back and play someone that might remind you guys super opposite of Mike, who is not deviant at all, he's super sweet, but how was that to like dig your heels into that character again? I, I always say playing the good guy is easier, playing the bad guy is more fun. And, uh, and it was fun. It was, it's a lot of fun. I love Tamara, so anytime I get a, a chance to work with Tamara, um, as my mother or you know, is, is amazing. And, uh, and just being a part of Salem is fun. I love Salem. I love the people. Uh, and so anytime, again, that I'm invited to play in that sandbox, uh, I, I, I have a great time. Now, the polar opposite is your character, Caleb, on the bay. How important, when it comes to stories that involve LGBTQIA, how important is it um, to make sure that it's authentic and that you're putting something out there that is relatable to the community? I think that we can all agree that representation matters. It matters when you create characters that people are sitting in their living rooms or watching it on their phones or in a movie theater and they look up on the screen and they see themselves in those stories, either in those characters or in those moments. And that's why we see movies and that's why we watch TV, right? To, to feel less alone in this world and to relate to characters that are created on screen. And so to be a character like Caleb and to play a character that's part of the LGBT community is is just that um, I, I won an Emmy for Caleb uh, back in 2021 and in my speech I talked about uh, how if I, I, I won for uh, an, a marriage storyline so at the end of this season I got married and my character is a man married another man and I said if that moment showed one kid sitting at home that they are worthy of the same love and respect and relationship that anybody else is, then the whole season was worth it for me. I said it now, and that's how I still feel. Now, which is easier to play, Charlie or Caleb? I think Caleb's easier, Charlie's more fun. Ah, that's a good answer. Actually, no, they're both fun. I take it back. They're both fun, and I, they're both... They both have different challenges. I, I, I want to change my answer. <laughs> well, because well, cause honestly, so this, so, so uh, season eight of The Bay just started airing um, this week. And in the season, we see Caleb in Italy. And we have a lot of flashback episodes uh, from earlier in Caleb's life. And some not great stuff happened to him yeah. and so audience was audiences will will see that and they it'll teach them a little bit more about why Caleb is the way he is yeah. and that stuff was actually very very challenging and um, and I really hope people like it and connect yeah. with it so uh, I'm excited for people to see that awesome. well congratulations Mike it is always a pleasure to talk to you and you guys make sure you keep your eye out on all the things that Mike Manon is doing we'll catch you here more here at the fifth 50th annual daytime Emmy Awards